Hi Capricorn, this is your reading with me for October 2020. I hope you are doing well. Okay, so we're going to see what's coming through for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. You can also cross watch as well if you are interested in cross watching. Okay, so we'll see what is happening and uh, yeah, so I have a new setup as you can probably see. Um, you might be new to my channel in which case you'll be like, okay, well it's new for me anyways. Um, but we're going to see what's happening. I do want to mention if you'd like to win a free reading with me, information is in the description box below. They are done within, um, what are they done within? 24 to 48 hours, there we go. <laughs> so free reading giveaway is in the description box below, private paid readings, description box below. Also my Etsy um, store items and bracelets, which are handmade by me, those are also going to be um, linked in the description box below as well. Um, so I'm wearing a bunch of different bracelets, Twin Flames, Soulmate, Love, Evil Eye, Yin and Yang, there's so many on there for confidence, health and happiness, protection, finances, they're all on there, they're meditated with, staged, international shipping, review section is on there as well, so do check everything out if you're interested, there's so many amazing items on my Etsy store, not just bracelets, so definitely do check those out, face masks as well. <laughs> okay, so Capricorn, let's see what October brings you. October of 2020. I mentioned actually in quite a lot of the other readings that I did as well, um, especially pick a card readings as well, um, that October here is very big, like very, very big for so many of you. It's a transformational month, um, mainly because you've also got the Pluto retrograde, which is ending um, on the 4th of October. So what I mean by that is Pluto goes direct. It's been in retrograde since the end of April. So things that you have wanted to do, perhaps around that time or even before April, that have been put on hold, they start moving again, okay? It starts to all move again in October. It's exciting, it's nice, uh, it's, it's good to see. And things start to progress. So yeah, Four of Cups, okay, those are all those sort of things that perhaps you have wanted to do that you never got the chance to do, or perhaps things that you have been rejected for, or a person that has continuously rejected you for this many months. Well, wow looks like just when you have kind of moved on, you're doing your own thing, you don't even care, you get this cup, this offer, okay, this person coming towards you and being like, hey, what you up to? Because you have got the Mercury retrograde as well. We know that during the Mercury retrograde, people from the past can come back around. People from the past can just appear. And it's like, really? I moved on can also be to do with career opportunities and friendships, right? Where you're like, oh, I kind of just got over you, you know? It's like, huh? Expect the unexpected. It's a big month. It's a good month to be diplomatic as well, um, mainly because you've got the Mars retrograde. Okay, when you've got the Mars retrograde, I will say that you know, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy, um, and it just happens. By the way, if anyone's worried that this is going to catch fire or anything like that, don't worry, it's LED. Um, just thought I'd mention that, you know, because, uh, yeah, I, I, I worry about those things all the time. That's why I haven't actually lit the real candle here. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, so we've got the Empress. We've got the Knight of uh, Cups. It's not that I'm careless or anything, it's just that if I'm focusing on reading, not focusing too much on like a lit candle, um, I do get a bit like, ah, <laughs> it's just the Virgo in me, okay, <laughs> I worry about these things. <laughs> so we've got here the uh, Page of Wands, okay, so Empress here is you feeling really confident, okay, really confident in your own energy, this is why, okay, when you're just doing your own thing, you couldn't care less, there's a return here um, from someone, could be, again, family member, friend, lover, ex-lover. I will say though, this is someone that you're actually excited to hear from. So if this is like an ex that you literally couldn't care about, then it's probably not gonna be that person. This is someone that you actually, you actually like. By the way, the chariot here is this energy of um, traveling. Some of you might be taking a trip, some of you might be going somewhere for the weekend. Tra uh, the travel energy of the chariot here is also about balance as well. 
Six of Cups, okay? There, there's someone here that really wants to offer you their cup and they're not giving up, okay? They are wanting it to be very well known that, hey, you should accept my cup. <laughs> there's a romantic energy for sure with your reading um, that's coming through now. This can also be to do with um, job opportunities. Some of you might be traveling for new job opportunities. Um, this, there's something really unexpected that's coming through here. I mean, the Empress here definitely shows that with that sort of Venus energy that you're, you're really feeling good within yourself. Got the moon as well. You're feeling really good within yourself and literally, just as you feel so content and so happy within yourself, boom, the moon, right? Which means that this person that comes in or this opportunity that comes in, it just makes you think like, wait, what? Like, uh, and it, it might, for some of you, bring in this emotional energy of just feeling like, wait, like what, uh, how, like, you might feel really hot and cold in terms of your emotions. You might be like, really? Like now? Why now? Why now? Why not this entire time when I was pining over this opportunity? It happens. Things happen when you least expect them to happen. It's just the way it is. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. This is when you're like really detached from the whole outcome, that it's literally when it happens. You see this a lot with sort of um, love as well. When someone's so detached, they couldn't care less. That's literally when things come together. And then when someone is so attached to a situation, that's when it sort of just doesn't happen. So what I would say is that, wow, you are really in your own energy, you're feeling good, you're feeling strong, and that's why these opportunities are coming your way. See, you're feeling strong, you're feeling comfortable, you're feeling confident in your own energy, and you're feeling secure. Yeah, there's definitely someone romantically that's coming through, or at least like a friend, you know, from the past, or a family member, and there's this bond that's being built up, but this here triggers a little bit of like that emotional turmoil within you where you're thinking, do I really want to do this now? It's a big question to ask yourself. Do you really still want to do this? Do you still want to be in this energy? Queen of Pentacles, right? It's typical. Just when you find your feet, you find your stability, you find your happiness and this person just comes around. It's like, really? Really? Like now? Really? Why now? Hmm. Well, the good news here is that in terms of like career, I see a lot of stability. For those of you in education, I see a lot of stability. It's just that something here, perhaps romantically, is just making you feel frustrated. You know, it's it's, it's almost like you. It comes to you when you least expect it, and that's perhaps what really frustrates you. Is you might be thinking like, "Wow, when I was upset, when I was really frustrated, it never happened then." And like now that I am just so happy, it happens now. Like a lot of you are quite frustrated with that. We also got the strength card as well. What I would say is live in your strength, you know, live in your power, that's when the best things tend to happen, that's when things really come together, that's when you feel your best, you feel the strongest, okay, nine of wands, you might be doing a lot of wondering, pondering, thinking, contemplating, in the month of October, you might just feel really frustrated, and you might feel like, why, why, why is all of this happening when I least expect it, like, why, you know, why is it happening when I least expect it, why doesn't it happen when I want it to, you know, so, just know that it happens because it has to happen. You know what I mean? So it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Okay, so Hierophant here shows, um, especially with the Queen of Pentacles, it shows here that you have the ability to save more money. Um, here in October, you might be trying to save more money, um, you know, cutting out on certain things that perhaps you don't want to spend extra money on. The Hierophant here shows you being um, like quite balanced and very, very happy in your own energy, especially with the Queen of Pentacles. You know your worth, you know your value. The strength card here is you taming your fears and feeling so confident and comfortable and strong in your own personal energy. The Nine of Wands here is you doing as much as you can for yourself. Um, and also the strength card here is very significant because it shows you taming your fears, trying to do the best that you can for yourself and uh, feeling strong and living in love rather than fear. And that's why I feel like all of these opportunities, all of a sudden they come around and it makes you go, what, really? Like, why, what, now? Like, really? It's that kind of like, um, you know, speechless, you know, a speechless energy, like, I'm speechless, wow, you know, it really comes when you literally don't expect it, and that's the thing, for those of you that have really worked on yourselves, and you found yourselves, you found your strength and your power, this is literally when it all just starts to flow in, and it makes you double, like, second guess yourself, double guess yourself, and you go, really, 
like what okay uh let me think about things you know so it's okay to think about things and to give things a little bit of time so this is what i'm seeing here capricorn for you this is your reading take care stay safe we hope it helped and uh yeah this is this is what we have for you all right so take care ta-da <laughs> bye bye capricorn